Do your feet hurt? No? All right, bye. No, but seriously, do you have foot pain? Are your feet flat? If you do have flat feet, that could be causing the foot pain, and that could be detrimental to your workout habits and therefore your health. I'm gonna show you in this video how to pick out a shoe that's going to be good for your flat feet. How's it going everybody? This is Chris aka Slurred Nerd and I'm going to show you in this video how to identify a shoe that's going to be good for your flat feet, especially if you're prone to getting things like plantar fasciitis. I can guarantee this is a video that's going to help you out. So just to demonstrate what I mean when I say flat feet, if it's not obvious from saying it out loud and uh, what kind of pain that creates, I'm going to show you real quick because I have super flat feet. See, there's like hardly any arch right there. I, I've been that way for, for a very long time, and I'm just now kind of, uh, in the last few years, started getting things uh, taken care of. But when I'm talking about foot pain, and ignore how gross my, my feet are and how dry they are, this is where the pain usually comes in. So we're talking right here, all right? And I'm talking through here, and sometimes here. If you're getting pain in those areas, then you're probably having things like plantar fasciitis or you're having swelling, and a lot of that comes from just having plain flat feet. Have you ever stepped on a Lego or a piece of glass when you're barefoot, or have you ever stepped on a nail? Because that's what it feels like in those areas that I just pointed out. When you're walking, that's how it feels. It feels like you're getting poked with something sharp or it feels like something's cutting into the bottom of your foot, into those tendons and things like that. That is the biggest symptom that I have from having flat feet. I don't just experience these symptoms barefoot. If I don't have the right shoes, I'm gonna notice that pain within about 20 to 30 minutes, and it is going to last me the entire day. So I went to a lot of doctors, had things checked out a little bit. The biggest solution was getting me into the right type of shoes for the shape of my feet. And I promise this is not a sponsored video, but I found a good fit for me, so I stick with one particular brand. You don't have to do that. There's lots of brands out there. I'll provide a list of some of those brands in the description below. But the main brand that I use is Brooks. I use Brooks for both my casual shoes and my workout shoes. But there's a few specific things to look for and Brooks just happens to be a really good example of the stuff that I need. So let's take a look at this brand new shoe I just got a few days ago. Um, and this is my second pair of this model uh, in a different color, but this is the Brooks Beast 18. And this is one of the comfiest shoes, one of the best and most supportive shoes I've ever had in my entire life. I, I love this brand and this model of shoe. And here's the things I'm gonna show you. First of all, let's take a look at this this back heel right now. I'm trying to press down on it, right? I'm pressing down pretty hard. See, that back heel is not going anywhere. That's because it has a stability cup in there that's gonna hold your foot. It's gonna hold that heel in the back of your ankle in place so it's not shifting around and over pronating, which is what happens with my feet because I don't have that arch stability. When I step my foot, without the shoes tends to kind of eh, go in like that. Not supposed to do that. Not supposed to do that at all. That is called overpronation. Let's take a look at a different shoe by example to show you what I'm talking about as far as what you don't want. Ignore that this is an old dirty shoe. Uh, this is actually Rochelle's and it's one of her older ones. Um, I don't have any shoes now that aren't this kind of a style because it's what works. So I got rid of everything else. But let's just take a common shoe. Here's an Airwalk right here. Um, Let's look at that back. You see that? Nothing there. Nothing there to cradle your heel. Nothing there to keep it in place. Another thing you're going to notice about these shoes, look how thick this is. Look how thick these soles are and everything. Those are inches thick. The reason for that is because there is a metal shank running through here to keep it from bending. So look at that. You get some bend in the toes. You're not really bending much else. Look at that. So that's going to keep you, again, from over pronating. It is going to keep your foot aligned and in place. That goes along, too, with the inside. There is some extra arch support, which it's probably really hard to see. It might actually be impossible to see. Um, but this one also has some really soft 
cushion in there too like this uh almost like yoga mat sort of feel to it not quite as uh soft but but fairly close um to kind of give you a little bit of that cushion in there but not enough cushion that it's not going to be helping your foot stay stable as a comparison the airwalk again look at that you can bend a shoe like that that's not the kind of shoe you should be wearing. Those are the big three things to look for when you're picking out a shoe. A stable cup, the thick sole, and that it does not bend in the middle. So again, the shoe that I'm wearing is the Brooks Beast 18. It comes in black and gray. It also comes in gray and blue. Also have this older shoe here. This is one of my casual shoes for walking around outside, for walking uh, from my car to uh, work where I have my other shoes, which are my dress shoes. I just keep those at work so I don't get them ruined because the downfall to these kind of shoes is that they're expensive, but you're paying to help your health. So to me, this is worth it because this is going to keep me out of pain. This is going to keep me in the gym. But this one here, my casual shoe, this is a Brooks Pure Cadence. I don't know that these ones are available anymore, but if I find something comparable, I'll put all these shoes in the description below so you can see them. I'll also link my dress shoes that I wear at work. I just don't have those with me right now, but I will link them in the description as well if you guys want to check those out. I wear size 10s for all of these things. They fit really well. But let's say that your job or your recreational activities have to do with the outdoors or or you need something really thick heavy like some sort of work boots or hiking boots or something like that the brand that i have found that works the best for me is keen now this boot right here is about three or four years old so that is why it's a little you know ugly looking maybe but <laughs> it, it, it was a great shoe when i when i first got it again does not really bend much except for those toes it's got a very stable cup right here like this does not really flex in that keeps your foot nice and stable this one has laces that go all the way up i also have another pair of keen boots uh, that i've been wearing through the ice and snow and those ones are slip-ons you just pull the tabs there are no laces and stuff like that and it still has the exact same stability and things like that that this one has so if you have flat feet or you have foot pain i would absolutely recommend trying out these shoes if you want to know any more about managing or controlling your pain so that you can get back into the gym click this video that's going to be linked right up there that'll give you some more information on some of the things that i do to try to help my body out so i can stay in that gym and keep accomplishing my goals Thank you everyone for clicking on this video. I really hope that this was helpful, that this was informative. Again, in the description, the shoes are linked so you can check those out if you are interested in those for yourself. Just do me a really quick favor. Make sure that you like and subscribe and share this video if you found this helpful and if you think anyone else would benefit from it. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you next time.